Hey, Catherine, how are you? I'm so well. It's so nice to meet you, Dwayne. Nice to meet you, too. I'm really excited to talk to you about uh, The Chosen Christmas special because I think it's going to be a huge. Um, the night that uh, Dallas announced it on his Facebook page, I uh, was just casually watching and I saw uh, him talk about it. So I've just put an article up and I mean, that article has just blown up on my site. So uh, that was my first indication that this is going to be like a steamroller at the, in the theaters. So uh, tell me a little bit about how you, uh, you know, what you all feel like as you see it, just kind of continue to, you know, make gains in the, at the box office. I mean, it's something extraordinary to be able to watch history being made and to just to get to be a part of it and to watch the old Hollywood model, um, which I professionally was raised up in, to be frank, I was at MGM for years, um, be forced to take notice of exceptional Christian content, um, not only for its content merits, but for its proven now box office presence. Right. which is which is pretty profound you know to sit there and watch I think we have one less one less um record to break at Fathom and we're, we're still two weeks out that's and the record we have to break is just nipping on the heels of Friends one of the greatest hugest tv shows of all time so I think right. just just watching what God's doing there is exceptional and it's um Christian cliche, but we, we all feel very privileged we all feel very I'm like this is just a holy a holy moment of what God's doing for a movement, we've felt him asking us for quite a while now of it's time now to break outside of the echo chamber. And our challenge has been, how do we do that authentically? How do we do that without, because we're not coveting any platform. We're not coveting um, getting that, that a coveted interview or, or, or like we just want it to organically happen. And we feel this has done exactly this, that. And so for that reason, we're just going, okay, God, we see what you're doing here will you just help us to just keep following you and weaving and bobbing with you as you um, as you just move us forward. And, and he himself is breaking outside the echo chamber and he's just using, as Dallas always says, our loaves and our fishes. As this continues to move forward, I would imagine you're probably already, maybe you're talking about other ways that you can uh, branch into theatrical releases maybe, uh, maybe not necessarily with The Chosen, but with other projects, is that the case? Yes and no. So we're definitely exploring, um, it's making us kind of rethink and re-engage what, what our live event strategy might, might look like and what God might be, might be asking us to pivot towards. And so we're going, okay, for season three, how does that look in terms of, is there room for any theatrical presence? Um, right. or a few side projects we're working on. Is this the right time to kind of put those forward and build out the chosen universe? The chosen isn't, the chosen is, will be something we all serve for the rest of our lives and just honoring it and the movement that it is. But we also feel God very clearly asking us to build out um, a, a whole ecosystem. So we're excited about that. And theatrical definitely has a place in that. And I also meant to mention that uh, I just saw Jonathan about a month ago. I met him uh, in Nashville. He's wonderful. Yeah. He's wonderful. Yeah. I was at the premiere for the Jesus Music movie. Okay. And, yes, yes. And he was there too. He was sitting at a table. So I was like, I have to introduce myself here. Yeah. Yes, that's amazing. Yes, he, um, gosh, what, and he, he takes it so seriously. And um, just the, just, uh, it, it, he knows this is a call upon his life and, and, and the diligence he takes to just really honor. I mean, people will stop him all the time, just crying, right. shaking, um, and, and just um, how he handles that, how he stewards that, the character and right. the honor and how he shepherds people through helping them know I'm just Jonathan, but isn't he amazing? Isn't God amazing? Right. And yeah, he's amazing. I'm glad you got to meet him. Catherine, how did you... You know, what's your history with uh, getting involved with Dallas and the Chosen? Yes. So um, years ago, I worked for Mark Burnett and Roma Downey for a number of years. I um, headed up uh, their faith I love family. Them. Yeah. They're, they're, I, oh, special place in my heart. So, um, and then, so I had actually come across the pilot of the Chosen. 
on my own years ago. This is before The Chosen was even The Chosen. It was just The Shepherd, The Pilot. And I immediately sent it to Mark and Roma and I said, you have to acquire this. And um, they immediately tried to, but VidAngel had already, which is now Angel Studios, had already beat us to the punch and now history's made. And um, after having three babies, I decided to parachute back in and came to work for The Chosen. We, we just, people must know that we're just burning with it. People must know what this episode is about, Dwayne. It, it's about just the humanity of, we have this teenager and a young man, you know, giving right. birth in the middle of a stable, mm. you know, sweeping up manure as, you know, she's right. about to give birth to, to our king. Um, so we're excited. And so thank you. Thank you for helping us. I think us. the whole show and probably the special will, you know, it just gives you a different perspective. It's it's very faithful, but at the same time, there, there are different angles that you never really considered before. And nuances, you know, the nuances that you don't really pick up when you're reading scripture, you know, the looks and yeah. The, yeah. the relationships and all that. I just think it's really powerful. Everybody we've shown it to, everybody we've told about, you know, just becomes big fans. So thank you for all the great work you're doing. Oh, goodness. It's it's our joy and our privilege. Thank you. It's been so nice meeting you, Jane. We'll get you out to Goshen. We, we must. Yes, You'll I love want it. to come. Yes, I would love it. I would love it. Thank oh. you so much.